So I'm trying to figure out who are all these men that you got texting in your phone. Can't have friends. You got friends, but Eric specifically though, I seen some text messages in your phone from him talking about boo and bad. What's that about? What about what about Eric? And why was you going through my phone? Because And what I'm, text message are you even talking about? I'm referring to the text message where it was like, Oh baby, we had a great time last night. What was the great time that y'all had last night? Oh yeah, you mean when we went to the football game and we hung out? Okay, you can say that now, days. but what I don't get is why would you be calling him Boo and Bay then? Okay, if that's just your homeboy and y'all going to games and stuff together, that's fine and dandy. But I you call like Boo and Bay. Never done it. Well, he said it. Not it was him all. saying it. Okay, so then maybe you need to talk to him because. Ain't no point in me talking to Eric. You're, you're my I man. I don't understand why you coming up to me talking about <laughs> named Eric, who's my homeboy, who I just hang out with every once and now and again. Because you're my man. And you shouldn't be going through my phone anyway. And what does me being in your man got anything to do with him? It I'm so, I'm trying to figure out who are all these men that you got texting in your phone? I can't have friends. You got friends, but Eric specifically though, I seen some text messages in your phone from him talking about boo and bad. Shalom, shalom. Call her law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's given all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, my name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I only give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. In this video, the topic is woman catches her husband cheating with a man best friend. Woman catches her husband cheating with a man best friend. Okay, and Jake is obviously guilty, man. You know, the guy got a ball head. He got the flower shirt on. You know, look how you're sitting. You know, you, it's like you're getting interrogated, you know. And uh, once again, this ain't necessarily about Jake, you know, which Jake is wicked. Jake is off. Jake better repent or be destroyed. But I want to, you know, f more so touch on, you know, why these things are happening, you know, and, and getting worse and worse. You know, in, in, in the community, you got all this, you know, woke stuff going on which is the philosophies and, and the wicked ideologies of America. And it's pushing it and forcing it upon the whole world. So if you don't serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, know Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you're going to fall victim to these demons, man. Okay, you're going to fall victim to these demons. And this woman, you know, she has a, you know, this is her man, her husband, whoever, you know, and he, she found she, she found him, you know, in, in, you know, pretty much going on dates with men. You know, the nigga was on a date, man. Time they went to the football game. No, nah, that nigga, that was a date. You got another man calling you boo and bae, you know, that's a little gay, all right? Maybe a lot of gay, you know, and, you know, this world, you know, they would, you know, shun you for coming against this or, you know, um, you supposed to all, you know, immediately accept this, which is completely off, man. Not according to the scriptures and, and, and we can't get jiggy with this shit. Matter of fact, it's our job to reprove, man, to reprove and rebuke this, okay? And this is why we're doing these videos, man. You know, you cannot be down low. You can't be playing, playing both fields. You can't, you know, a, a man should not be a sodomite anyways, man. But, let, but, 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 you know what? Let's go grab some scriptures. It says, um, Romans chapter 9, it's like in Romans chapter 1, verse uh, 25. It says, who changed the truth of the most high into a lie and worshiped it and served the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever, Amon. And, you know, Esau, you know, he has had a huge part in that, man, turning the truth of the most high into a lie. He painted himself as a Lord. And them fuck Jake heads up talking about some Jesus, man. You know, Jesus, they, when you think of Jesus, they talking about that love. Oh, God is love and love is love and all this other crazy shit, man. That is not the Lord of the Bible. But they use that. <gasps> so lock you. They use that to destroy the minds of our people. Okay. It says, for this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. Okay. Because, because you went against the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. He gave you up unto vile affections, which is, let's go into this word vile. All right, let's go into this word vile in the blue letter, which we already know what it means. But let's just see what it say in the blue letter, man. All right. Because we, as we get closer to the end of this place, man, you know, a lot of a, a lot more stuff is going to start coming out and getting exposed. You know, Jake going to start getting uncomfortable, you know, more and more, you know, because, you know, it's like light and dark you know you got righteous you know springing out in the earth but the world is is so wicked so what's you know it's going to cause a conflict and ultimately it's going to you know this hey, this place cannot stand man you know ain't hey, hey, no place can stand where men are you know doing stuff like this okay strong's g 819 atamia atamia 
it says dishonor um a um ignominy disgrace it says um comparative indignity disgrace dishonor reproach shame vile okay so let's go back it says for this cause the most high shall give them up unto a vile affection which is a dishonorable um a shame a reproach a disgrace okay indignity you know a, a, a perverse um affections man you know now jake you know you know instead of you know seeking a woman they seeking men now man and, and instead of the woman seeking men they seek a woman now so the world is completely turned upside down and lord gonna turn her back right side up with those thermonuclear missiles that's why the scripture says the world shall a, a, a world um to and fro like a drunkard man when the missiles start hitting this place is gonna shake and all these demons gonna fall off these people bro it says for their even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature now you got these women like i said uh laying down with other women you know or, you know buying dildos and thinking that they a man and stuff you know we live in a very very d disgusting and wicked world and they paint it as love okay they paint it as love it says and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another you got men burning in their lust one toward another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat you see and this is why you get a lot of different um like i was going to a grid you know g-r-i-d which is gay related immune disease okay and that's what what happens you know what i mean that that's that that was the original term for hiv okay what they call hiv today and i was actually just watching tv you know yesterday and i saw this hiv commercial they always come come on tv you know i've watched like tubi tube and stuff so they be having commercials and they be they, they'll come on tv and i you know I, I always you know i always you know pay attention and all you ever see on those on those commercials is jake man you'll see two two male jakes holding hands two women holding hands you know so these things are not you know unheard of you know you know this ain't right and this is why he you know he's sitting her you know looking <laughs> looking all them nervous and shit because you know this ain't right it says and all and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error which was meat and even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge the most high gave them up over to a reprobate mind which is a mind void of judgment niggas just doing what they want to do doing what they please doing whatever they you know they uh flesh tell them you know instead of just being in the spirit it says to do things which are not convenient you know so for a man to be letting another man go on his rectum that's not convenient man you know a lot of you know diseases come behind that not to mention your damn they say your shit turn inside out man you know so you know i, I hate to be gruesome but you know it's not convenient man this is a, a evil and wicked way you know and ultimately the lord is going to purge this spirit from among our people <laughs> when he come back all right it says being filled with un unrighteousness with all unrighteousness fornication wickedness covetousness maliciousness in full of envy murder debate deceit malignity uh whisperers backbiters haters of god you see they say what well, is what well, is it's love it's love but the same individuals hate the most high because they know the most High don't get down with that okay it says the spiteful proud boasters inventors of evil things disobedient to parents without understanding covenant breakers without natural affection and placeable unmerciful who knowing the judgment of the most high that they which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same but have pleasure in them that do them you see so not only the ones that are doing these things, but those that have pleasure in the people that are doing them. So you go into these parades, which I wanted to say last night, these pride, you know, these damn pride parades are getting canceled in Florida because Ron DeSantis passed a um, a damn drag bill, something like that. It was, it was a bill about drag, you know, drag people in restaurants and stuff, you know. So let me go here. This is Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 17 it says there shall be no whore of the daughter of of the daughters of my of israel nor a sodomite of the sons of israel so our woman ain't supposed to be out here being whores you know not not these women talk about their sex symbol you know no no that's no that's a a a a, 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 a damn demonic way of saying 
or a, a deceitful way of saying whore. Okay, which that sh that shit that shouldn't be going on, man. But it is going on, and that's why the Lord is going to destroy the majority of our people, man. Okay, because because of their the, 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 because you because of your sins. Okay, because of your sins, man. You don't get get, get to just be a, a evil, disgusting, wicked nigga. Think 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 the Lord got to save you. No, the Lord going to destroy you, man. And an individual like this here pass by the camp, laugh, scoff, mock, you know, that damn bald head. And then they see, you know, the whole time the man be laying with other men. You know, let me grab this. Um, and I'm close out. <clears throat> Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. So he asking her, like, what they got to do with you? Because, first of all, hey, that's your woman, okay? She probably, you know, trying to figure out what the hell going on with you. Not, not to mention that that can spread diseases, man. I don't blame her for being worried, you know? I don't blame her for being worried, man. You know, you going the hell off, nigga. Okay, and she probably thought she probably thought she was getting with a man, okay? Leviticus 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So... Whoever Eric is, him and Eric gonna be destroyed, man. Unless they repent, okay. Unless they repent, they are gonna be destroyed. All right. So that's all I had to say, so, on that, man. Shalom, Kwame Shirala of Baba Ball. I'm gonna play one more time. I'm gonna close out. Shalom. Oh, I'm trying to figure out who are all these men that you got texting in your phone. I can't have friends. You got friends, but Eric specifically though, I seen some text messages in your phone from him talking about boo and bad. What's that about? What about what about Eric? And why was you going through my phone? Because And what I'm, text message are you even talking about? I'm referring to the text message girl. Like he even sound kinda of fruity, bro. <laughs> like come on. He's saying you know Jake when Jake gotta get that bald head and they gotta trim 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 they beard up all them, you know, small and effeminate and shit, man. Hey the Lord ain't dealing with that man. Like, ooh, baby, had a great time last night. What was the great time that y'all had last night? Oh, yeah, you mean when we went to the football game and we hung out? Okay, you can say that now, years. but what I don't get is why would you be calling him Boo and Bay then, okay? If that's just your homeboy and y'all going to games and stuff together, that's fine and dandy. But I you call Boo and Bay. Never done that. Well, he said it. It was him saying it. Okay, so then maybe you need to talk to him because... Ain't no point in talking to Eric. You're I don't, you're I don't understand why you coming up to me talking about and, that, and that's effeminate man he said maybe she maybe you should talk to him why, why would she talk to him she's talking to you you know why, why is your homeboy calling you boo and bae but you know a lot of jake be down low man a lot of these jakes be down low man you know they be hurting you know burning <laughs> you know and can't can't get a woman so they'll just you know do anything with their homies which is completely off and totally wicked and lord gonna destroy guys like this man who's my homeboy who i just hang out with Every once and now and again. Because you're my man. And you shouldn't be going through my phone anyway. And what does me being in your man got anything to do with him? It mm. So. So there you go. Shadow one, Kwame Shirella of Bible Ball.